Today we have for you some really exciting DIYs that you're going to love. Going to Dollar Tree is always fun, but going in the summertime, there's such fun things to find like these hula hoops that I love. They also come in different sizes, so whatever project you have in mind with them, you'll find one that fits. I grabbed one of the smaller ones. I'm also going to use some of these flat bamboo dowels and a pool noodle from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut off a piece that's about an inch thick, and I'm also going to take several of the flat bamboo dowels. These are from Amazon, and I do have them on my Amazon store, so if you want to check that out, it is linked below. I poked a hole inside the pool noodle piece, and I'm just going to hot glue a dowel and then do the same thing across from each other. So I'm going to do one side and then one across, then another one and then one across until I have about six of them. What we're creating here is a nautical ship wheel. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen these before, and I thought I can make one using Dollar Tree items and these flat bamboo dowels, which are not expensive at all. You can also use the regular dowels if you need to. Once I have these dowels in place, I'm just going to place the pool noodle section right in the center of the hula hoop, mark with a pencil, and then use my miter shears to cut where I need to cut. I also have these miter shears in my Amazon store linked down below. Once I had them cut, I'm just going to hot glue them to the hula hoop one by one, making sure that I am arranging them equally separated. I wanted to add a piece inside the pool noodle piece. That way it's going to hide the hole. So I'm just going to add this wooden one from Dollar Tree. Then I'm just going to hand paint the pool noodle piece with some chalk paint. This is just because we are going to spray paint it. And I've learned that the spray paint really absorbs into the pool noodle and it does not have a full coverage. I'm going to give it a couple of coats here and there until I have it nice and covered. And then I'm going to take it inside. I'm going to paint the middle portion in this beautiful agave color by Waverly Chalk Paint. I'm going to take another piece of the pool noodle. This is about six or seven inches. And I'm just going to cut one side open, open it up, and place it on one side of the hula hoop. Then I'm going to hot glue it shut together. This is going to give me a nice foamy area where I can start placing some florals. This is just a combination of greenery that I already had on hand, but you can use any combination of flowers you want. You can even use flowers with colors. The possibilities are endless. Once I had the floors where I wanted it, I'm going to cover the entire pool noodle so you do not see it with a burlap ribbon that I had here on hand. I'm going to hot glue it in place and then I'm going to make a very simple bow using the same ribbon. Cut off the ends and hot glue it to the center. I want to keep it nice and simple. But remember, you can use whatever you want. This is such a big wheel. You can add any decor that has a beachy summer theme. And this would be perfect for over a fireplace, outdoors, anywhere you like it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you think. For the next DIY craft, I'm going to take three cups and put some water in them. Then I'm going to take three different colors of paint, this beautiful agave color, the moss color by Waverly, and this Rust-Oleum navy blue paint. I'm going to dilute it nicely and then we're going to drop in some of these half beads that I already had on hand. Now, if you do not have these, they have them on Amazon, but Dollar Tree also carries these little wooden cubes that would be great for this project, as well as this bead garlands that already come set. You can open them up and use the beads for this project. It's a great alternative if you do not have the half beads. All right, so I'm just going to drop them in. My goal was to get these stained. It didn't work. <laughs> so I took him out and I'm just going to let them dry and it took a couple of hours but they dried pretty well and I'm just going to paint them by hand. I'm going to take one of these flat canvases that you can find at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to give it a fresh coat of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the linen white just to brighten it up. Then I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to hand draw what will look like a fishtail or a mermaid tail. I'm just going to do it the best I can to hand do it. And then once I have it in place, we're going to start placing each little half bead. I want this to go from like a lighter color to a darker color. And I just wanted it to have a very natural, very relaxed look because I feel like beach summer decor is very relaxed. So I'm just going to start hot gluing them, starting with some natural wood tones. 
moving on to the green then navy blue and then the beautiful teal color from waverly i didn't have enough beads so i had to place some of the natural wood tones on top and i did paint them eventually with the agave color i also touched up the white paint where you can still see the pencil marks and that's it for this one it was so fun doing this this would be a great project to do with your kids or grandkids but even as an adult it's a great project craft to do love it The next DIY craft is such an easy one. This little laundry sign is an ironing board, but we're gonna turn it into a surfboard. So I grabbed it and I'm just gonna hand draw a little narrower area just so that it looks like a surfboard. These signs you can find at Dollar Tree year round in the frame section, and I love them because they're so versatile. I'm gonna use my blade knife. I'm just gonna score it a few times, snap it, and then sand it smooth. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. And I always have those links down below in the description box. You can check them out when you're done watching. I would love to connect with you there as well. Once I had it nice and smooth, I am going to paint it. I'm going to use again that Agave Waverly color. It's such a pretty one for summer. I'm just going to give it one coat. It has such great pigment that it does wonders. And then I thought I wanted to add something in the center to add a little bit of character. So I'm going to take this craft paper. It has a kind of like a shiplap look. And I'm just going to press it down on the edges so I can mark where the surfboard is. Once I had it cut, I am then going to measure it and cut it even smaller so that you can still see the nice blue color on the sides. I sprayed some adhesive spray and I just attached it to the center of the board. Using my Cricut, I did create these decals that have a beautiful flower. I'm going to make three of them and I'm just going to place them one in the bottom, one in the center, and one in the top. This is so that it can have a nice detail. I'm just going to cut off the excess and that's it for this one. Such an easy one. You can also make this with foam board if you do not have a sign like this one. The possibilities are endless. So much fun creating this one. I love it. For this next DIY craft, I'm going to take this beach towel that I found at the store at home. Now, I know that Dollar Tree does not carry towels, but I do know that Dollar General does. So make sure you check them out if you want to recreate this craft. All right, so I'm going to take it and fold it in half, cut it in half, and then I'm going to fold it in half again and cut it again. So I have four equal sizes. This was a very large towel. I'm going to flip it inside out, fold it, and then I'm just going to use my sewing machine to sew the three areas that are remaining. I'm going to leave a little area that is open so that I can stuff it with some pillow stuffing. We're going to create some outdoor pillows that would be perfect to place by our pool. It'll absorb any water that is on your bathing suit or on your clothes and it's just a great way to use these look how cute these turned out they look great on my chairs and they are so inexpensive for the next diy craft i'm going to make a very fun sign perfect for summer if you do not have a piece of wood you can use the foam board from dollar tree don't forget, you can also double them up by hot gluing them or spray adhesing them, and they would be a great alternative. Once I had this piece of scrap of wood nicely sanded, I'm going to hand draw what will look like a shark bite. So I'm just going to use my pencil and just draw away. Then I'm going to use my saw, and I am going to start cutting. Now, I know some of you do not have saws or power tools, but remember, if you use a foam core from Dollar Tree, you can just use an X-Acto knife or a blade knife. Although I highly recommend you use power tools, of course, very carefully follow all instructions and use safety gear as needed. I'm just going to cut it and just keep shaping it into that shark bite. Once I had it cut, I'm going to sand down all those splinters that was left over. That way it's nice and smooth and not splintery. And then I'm going to give everything two coats over stolen chalk bin in the linen white. Friends, if you have not checked out my blog, I do have it linked down below in the description box. I post every single week written formats of my videos, so check it out. It is linked below. All right, using my Cricut, I created a stencil using swim at your own risk. 
and I'm going to start stenciling using Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint in the blue. And then I'm going to move on to a lighter blue as a faded look. It's going to kind of have like an ombre look. And then I'm going to do the risk in a beautiful farmhouse red. I'm gonna remove this stencil and it's always so much fun revealing this stencil, isn't it? All right, so this turned out so stinking cute. I really purposely wanted that risk to look like it was bitten off a little bit. Now I want this to look distressed and like it's been outdoors in the, in the weather. So I'm just gonna use Antiquing Wax by Waverly and a chippy brush. I'm just gonna start applying it and then rubbing off any excess, just muting it down so it looks natural. And I'm gonna do that all around. And that's it for this one, my friends. What a cute one. Again, remember, if you don't have wood, you can use foam board. How cute is this? It's definitely one of my favorites from today. You can go near the beach house, in your, even in your own home decor. It don't matter if you don't leave by the beach. I love these, but let me know which one is your favorite. I have another video here for you with tons more of inspiration for you. Check it out. I'll see you later, and have a blessed day. Bye.